My name is Dylan Cole. I am on my fifth year of studying Arabic, and I'm a senior. Does she speak? She speaks. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. She's like. I remember her coming home, seventh grade. Mom, guess what? Guess what? They said because my grades were so good, I can take language early. Oh, so I'll just do this. She chose Arabic, and when she came home after those first couple of days, she's like, I love it. The nicest people I've ever met, most hospitable. I just feel really cool, honestly. It sounds so different from English. It's very distinct. It's just exciting. There are well over 130 students. Uh, I think we're at 150 students taking Arabic here now. But if you'd asked me when we first started this if over a third of our high school was going to be taking Arabic, I would have left. Part of what we're doing here is, is always trying to encourage more and more students to study Arabic. Because of the support of the Qatar Foundation International and because of the professional development we've had, our program actually is more in line with best practices than many of the university programs are. Once they realize where Arabic is, then a lot of students just get hooked. They want to learn more, and then they start to go by themselves. And that's been one of the most amazing experiences as a teacher is to see students interacting in their own world in a new language. I've definitely seen through the Arabic program a capacity to enter the other. We're hoping that's the benefit. It's what education's all about, after all. We are people who get on with life, but we're divided. And it goes back for years. We live with gates and walls that go down the middle of our community. We're extremely proud of the fact that we have got pupils come from all different types of backgrounds, from different family backgrounds, ethnicity, religion, and we cannot be categorized in terms of gender or religion uh, or economics. Max, he asked Manhadi here, right? Yeah. So Joshua, what do you say? Hadi. 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 Hadi Abi. We feel that as a school we need to promote languages because we know how important it is for uh, people to be able to interact with others on the world stage, which is what we want our young people to be able to do. The Study Buddy program started just at the start of this year and it was just welcome to refugees living in Belfast um, from loads of different backgrounds, whether it be from Syria or South Sudan. Um, but each day of the week they're welcome to come and just receive any help with anything they may be struggling with. They come and they can bring their work and we can just sit down beside them on a one-to-one -one basis on quite a personal level and just sit and talk to them and um, help them any way we can. I think they feel proud as well because like, they're teaching young children and stuff like about their culture to be more happy probably and they feel happy as well like you said, in their hearts. If you've no prejudice against any other culture like you can make such good friends and like the friendships and bonds we have made with these kids of all ages is like something you just wouldn't find anywhere else. Yeah. What's happened for the majority of students is they've they, they have begun to open up to the otherness. They want to help those who are less fortunate than themselves. I feel very content and um, at peace with, with the way the project has, has come on and how much we've educated the children and got them to accept the otherness and the goodness and the wonderfulness of another language, culture and people. We talked a lot about Arab culture and trying to break down all the stereotypes that we even have here in America. And I think that that's really helpful. I think it's just important that people learn to be more tolerant of other people and their beliefs and their opinions. I think it's kind of necessary to kind of go past those boundaries and be more accepting of others and offer help when we can and not always just sit back and judge from afar, but actually go in and be active and do something. It is about drawing connections with the Arab world, but first and foremost, I think it is about the students understanding that there is a valuable perspective on the other side of the table. Arabic will offer them the opportunity to access that other perspective. Arabic has, it has 
changed, I really do believe it has changed the course of her life. Right. It's given her direction, yes, but it has changed the course of her life. And I'm all for it. I'm just, I'm just watching it happen. I'm just watching it happen. I have so many opportunities in the future to now take you know, a language that I wasn't even really sure if I wanted to learn, and now I've come to love it, and now I can even continue to use it after high school. It just makes me happy, like, that I found something that I love, and then that could also be a future job. Words matter, people matter, ideas matter, and guess what, Arabic matters too. What they're doing each and every day is something that I deeply believe will change the way they look at the world.